Hello, what's good, and welcome to CSC Sports. I'm your host, Jay Halvard, and today I want to talk about Jeremy Lin. And I want to ask you guys a question. Can Jeremy Lin save the Houston Rockets in the series versus OKC? They're down 0-2. They're going back home. Jeremy Lin um, had a slight injury last night with his chest. It came back negative, so he's okay. But the question is, can Jeremy Lin really contribute and help? Let's run down the statistics of those who did contribute. Patrick Beverly played phenomenal. 16.6 assists, 12 rebounds for a point guard. Jeremy Lin, 7 points, 3 assists, 4 rebounds. James Harden, 36.6 assists, 11 rebounds. Chandler Parsons, 17. No assists, 7 rebounds. And Amir Sheik, 9 points, 0 assists, and 14 rebounds. Now, the reason I'm talking about Jeremy Lin, for one, I'm a Jeremy Lin fan. I like Jeremy Lin a lot, but a lot of people that are dedicated, diehard Jeremy Lin fans, they don't really like when they don't really like when people comment about not so much me, but when people comment about their opinions about Jeremy Lin not showing up. Now the reason I'm gonna keep making these videos is because everybody that was rolling with Jeremy Lin in New York when he was looking like a savior there and he was playing phenomenal basketball. They thought Jeremy Lin was the best thing since sliced bread. I thought he was a good player, and I thought he was going to become an be even better player. So I'm one of those people. I wasn't a fanatic. I wasn't a Jeremy Lin fanatic. This is the stage that defines good and great players, the playoffs. Now, up to this point, down 0-2, Jeremy Lin has not delivered, whether he hurt his chest or not. He has not been delivering in the last two games. Will he deliver in game three is the question. And I want all of you guys out there to really dig deep, deep inside and take the two games that you saw, throw them out the window and say, Jeremy, and tell me, Don Scott, you think he's going to deliver game three if he plays? Because they're going to need him. And the reason why I'm focusing on Jeremy Lin, because he is a special player in my opinion. One of, the, one of the reasons why I think Jeremy Lin is not flourishing in Houston like I thought he would, I thought his numbers would be greater than the 13 points or whatever, and the 6 assists or whatever it was. I think it's Kevin McHale also. I think Kevin McHale, and I said this in my other video, I, I think that he doesn't use Jeremy Lin in the, in the right manner when he's on the court. I think he, he wants Jeremy Lin to be this fake me out Steve Nash. You know what I mean? That's not his game. And they're going to need Jeremy Lin to score in the next game. They're going to have to they're going to have to find a way to stop the turnovers. James Harden has six of them. And they're going to need Jeremy Lin's points. He is going to have to put pressure on Westbrook going to the cup and going to the foul line. And the question is, will Jeremy Lin be able to do it? I know what's inside of him. I know he has the ability, but will he do it? Another question before I wrap up, I want to ask you guys out there. Do you think Jeremy Lin is a little bit shaky? Now, Patrick Beverly has never played in the playoffs, and he played his ass off. Amir Sheik had a little experience. He's, he's been playing his ass off. Chandler Parsons has been okay. Harden been doing his thing. Question is, is Jeremy Lin a little afraid also? I don't think he should be because he is a brave cat. I mean, the, the guy can ball, you know what I mean? But I want to know, can he help save the Houston Rockets? I want you guys to tell me your honest opinion about Jeremy Lin up to this point. Peace from CSC Sports.